Hello everyone, Dr. Sam Schroeke here of Physical Therapy and Hand Clinic of Hillsborough with another exciting edition of Technique Tuesday. Today what I thought I'd talk about is what might be one of the most important pieces of equipment we have in the clinic. It is the lumbar roll, also known as the lumbar pillow. Um, the reason this is important is because it can help people who have back pain, it can help prevent back pain, but also we notice that a lot of people are using them incorrectly. Um, main reason that it is important is one, we sit a lot in this country um, and you want to preserve the neutral curve in your lumbar spine. So I've got this natural curve here and I want that preserved as much as I can because when I'm in that neutral position, pressure on the discs is evenly distributed and then my ligaments, tendons and muscles are kind of all in a relatively neutral position and so they can produce more effective force if they have to. So anyhow, I'm going to show you guys how to do this. This is going to be beneficial for one, people who sit a lot, or if you have back pain that is maybe worsened when you are sitting, or if you sit for a while and get up and you have back pain, this, this might be beneficial for you. So here's what we do. Sit in a chair. <laughs> okay, so that's not too hard. But what you want to do is, number one, make sure that you bring your butt and your hips all the way back in the chair. That's, that's key. Once you get your butt and your hips all the way back, then you put the pillow or the roll in the small of your back. So it's not on your mid-back, it's not down here on your pelvis, it's right where that curve is happening and then you sit up, just lean into it a little bit. That's it. What we commonly see is that people put it way too high because it kind of does feel good or they'll put it down here kind of where it goes but then they do this. Okay, so once again, three steps basically. Hips and butt all the way back, <clears throat> put the pillow in the small of your back, and then sit back into it. That's it, okay? So again, this is gonna kind of put you in a neutral position. It's gonna be better for your back. Um, also, when you're not sitting properly, when you sit how most of us do, we're like this. And so not only is this putting strain on my low back, it's also putting my mid back in a bad position, my shoulders in a bad position, and my neck in a bad position. You can sit like this all you want because you'll just you know be more patient for us. <laughs> but if you want to have long-term health of neck, mid-back, and low-back, it's, it's really important to get an upright posture preserving that curve in the lumbar spine, okay? So I wanted to show this in two different chairs. Um, what you see in a lot of cases, <clears throat> with car seats especially, or some chairs like this, you see that the, the butt, the tail of the chair is slanted downward. So that's gonna put your knees higher than your hips, which is actually gonna cause you to sit in this rounded position, which we're trying to avoid. So one solution around that, if you can't get a new chair, is you just take some towels, put them at the base of the chair, and now your hips are gonna be higher than your knees, so that kind of takes care of that. So your butt goes all the way back again, lean forward a little bit, get that in the small of your back, and then there you are. And this actually feels pretty comfortable. So how to use the lumbar roll, you can get them on amazon.com, but check with us, we sometimes have them at the clinic as well. I'm Dr. Sam Schroke, and this is another edition of Technique Tuesday. Thank you.